Welcome to Made My Couch News. I'm your news anchor, Robert Mashogana, and a Merry Christmas Eve to all of you out there, but the news may not be as merry as you think. Starting off, I hope you all got your shopping done, because the shopping malls are on fire! <laughs> 30 confirmed dead. Uh, this just in, President Evil 4 delayed due to weather. Speaking of which, how's it going out there, Kill? It's fucking freezing! Thanks, Kill. In other news, Santa Claus is still missing. As per last year's interview, well, he said he was going to the Congo. It's just that, well, the police can't find him. Uh, in other news, the Grinch has been tried and executed for his crimes. No sympathy for thieves. That's all for tonight. Uh, tune in tomorrow morning for some more news. All right, good job today, Kill. Let's uh, get to work on tomorrow's news. Tomorrow? What do you mean by tomorrow? Oh, well, uh, by tomorrow, I mean tomorrow. What the fuck do you think I mean? But tomorrow's Christmas. So what, I don't get the day off? Kale, how many times have I given you Christmas off? You've never given me Christmas off. Exactly. So why would that start now? Everybody's gonna be watching the news on Christmas, Kill. But aren't they gonna be watching our Christmas stories? Shut up! Christmas is a time to make money, not to be with family. But it's Christmas. Don't you want the day off? No. I hate Christmas. Ho ho ho, Uncle Robert! It's me, your nephew! God damn it. Nephew, what are you doing here? Well, I came back from this Christmas party and thought you just cookie. Aw, nephew, you shouldn't have. You really, really shouldn't have. Well, jeez, uncle. You don't have to be such a humbug at this time of year. You know what, nephew? I've had it about up to here with this Christmas shit, okay? And frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. But what's the Lord from food? Well, I for once say that that was a really nice gesture of you. Thanks, man. I didn't even know you. You know what, Gil? It's been like 10 years since we started working together. You can take the day off tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that one. In fact, let's make this the last year we have to work together, because you're fired! Uh, oh. Okay. You're fired, too! What do you mean? Man, I don't even work for you. I'm your nephew. And you, whatever. I'm leaving. God damn it. What's his problem? Is that? <laughs> fucking whatever. It's gonna take me fucking forever to get this. What the fuck? I like clock. I don't have a grandfather clock. It's going. Yeah, what card game it's? Who are you? I am your own business partner. Johnny Garcia? No, I am the ghost of Halloween. Oh, hey, Hal. How's it going? Terrible. I'm in hell, but not as bad as you, Evan. What, what do you mean? Tonight you will be visited by three spirits. So... 
Bible, like that story written by Charles Dickens. Exactly. You have been warned, Robert. Well, it's uh, been about an hour and uh, still no ghosts, so uh, I think I'm like high or something. <laughs> um, who are you? I'm the ghost of Christmas a little while ago. Uh, okay, um, why are you here? I'm here to take you to your little while ago. Don't you mean my past? I know what I said. Time for a fun teleport. <laughs> It's me. It's me, back when I was in journalism school. While everyone was outside having fun on Christmas, I wasn't. As you see, we're in here a little while ago. The shadow of things that have happened before. I guess that makes sense. Is that my sister? Hey, Dad said he's sorry for being a jerk. You wanna come home? No. Okay. <laughs> she died. Yep. Well, that's enough of that. Time for another teleport. Oh god, not again! <gasps> what the hell? Where am I? Wait a second. Look at that. It's me. And my old boy, Shitty Wig. <laughs> Man, that Shitty Wig. He was the best news reporter in one year. Oh, ho, ho, well, boy, it looks like the workday is done, but now it's time for a Christmas party. We got it. Of course, it's Christmas after all, my boy. What's Christmas without a Christmas party? Tell me that, son. Oh, silly boy. Let's get you some eggnog at the party. Yeah, I remember that Christmas party. Not the best. You didn't get any chicks, did you? No. No, I didn't. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, I don't know, man. The past is the past. You can't keep dwelling on it. It's not like you can change it or anything. You know what? If I had it with you, you're just showing this stuff to me just to make me mad. So you know what? Ow! Wow, what the... I'm back in my room. Guess I... kind of have lost myself a little bit. What the hell? It's even an hour yet! Uh -oh. <laughs> Are you the next ghost? No, I'm the party! Who do you think I am? I, I don't know, you haven't told me your name yet. I don't know. I'm the ghost of Christmas right now! And I'm gonna show you right now! <laughs> No. Uh, kill? Yes. Kill. <sighs> well, son, I didn't get my bonus from work, but uh, I'll still figure out a way to do Christmas dinner somehow. Oh, that thanks, Dad. But it's it's okay. I still love you. God, man. Guess I never realized how bad Kill had it at home. But I don't get it. Why show me this? It's to show you that your actions have consequences. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. 
I, I still don't get it. You've got plenty of money since the takeover. Well, you see, that's... that's, that's <coughs> you okay? I'm having a heart attack! Aren't you a ghost? How can you get heart attacks? Um, can you at least, like, take me back home before you die? I'm such a fucking asshole, and now I can't fucking get out of here! Are you the third ghost? Um... What am I doing in a graveyard? Kill? What's Kill doing here? I can't believe my only nephew is dead. This sucks. That's all thanks to my stupid boss. He was such an asshole. Kill the kid? But I don't care. Wait, was? I still am an asshole. So what do you want? Oh, what? Just another sorry asshole who died? Oh god, it is! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, so is this shit gonna happen, or can I change it? <laughs> Get off of me! No. It can't be! No! No! I'll change! I swear I'll change! I'll change! It's morning. I'm not dead. Hey, you down there! What? What day is it today? It's Christmas. I probably apologize to kill. Yeah, that's a good idea. Robert, what are you doing here? Hey, Kill. I just came by to say Merry Christmas. Here's this. Why? Well, I felt bad for getting mad at you earlier, so I decided to give you something for you and your family. I don't have a family. Uncle Robert! My nephew I didn't know I had. Merry Christmas! What got you in the mood? Oh, you know, I just got visited by three spectral beings to show me my past, present, and future. So my cookie work. Yeah! Sweet! Uh, cool sort now. Alright, guys, let's go bowling! Yeah! yeah. Uh, what am I doing here in a graveyard? Mm. Action. Who are you? Fuck! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, you down there! <laughs> Well, I for once said that was a really nice jester. Thanks, man, but I don't even know you. Why do you keep looking away from me? Alright, action. <laughs> I killed a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Boss, you killed a child. <laughs> okay. You're just showing this stuff to me to trip up a bit. I'm going so. I would never show it to you just to have a different <laughs> I just like, oh man, look at you in the mood. Ah, oh, you know, I just had a visit by three by, by three <laughs> spectral beings that show. Boy, the work day is done. We're going to have a Christmas party. Help.
Hey, it's me. Yeah, no. It's been a little while. Sounds like you put yourself back together. <laughs> oh, come on. It was just a joke. Lighten up. Well, anyway, I'd say our little experiment was a success. Yeah, it took a little while to make, but the prototype was finished a couple days ago. Yep, testing on Christmas Eve, just like you wanted. Yes, it was a huge success. Yes, he was an absolute Scrooge before he ate it, but the next day, it was full of Christmas cheer. No, he's always hated Christmas. I've never seen him like this before. And it was all thanks to the Dickens Project. If we can mass produce this, soon enough, everybody will be full of Christmas cheer and under your control. No, I didn't feel guilty at all testing on my uncle. I knew it was for the greater good. Yes, I understand we put on the naughty list, but it was necessary evil for the sake of the holiday. Don't worry, everything is going all according to your list, Mr. Kelvin. Let's go!